Hey guys, Jem here with another book review. For the third book of the House of Night series, Chosen, by PC and Kristen Cast. I just finished this book not even a minute ago, literally. Because, like, I only had, like, two pages left. Um, you know, I really like this book. It was really good. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. Um, in the beginning of the book, wait, hold on. I need to try to find a website to read the back for you guys, because this thing is now covering most of the words for the Sino whatever it's called. Synopsis, I think it's called. Um, so, hold on here, people. Uh, I remember I found a, a website for this, but I don't think I can find it again. Um. Here it is. This is the website. It's called lovevampires.com. Um, blood, bloodlust and dark forces are at work at the House of Night, and fledgling vampire Zoe Redbird's adventures at school take a mysterious turn. Those who appear to be friends are turning out to be enemies, and oddly enough, sworn enemies are also turning into friends. Her best friend, Stevie Ray, is undead and struggling to maintain a grip on her humanity. Zoe doesn't have a clue how to help her, but she does but she does know that anything she and Stevie Ray discover must be kept secret from everyone else at the House of Night, where Tress has become a rare, a rare comedy. Com, commodity? However you say that. Um, speaking of rare, Zoe finds herself in the rare position of having three boyfriends, a situation with the potential to spell social disaster then vampires start turning up dead really dead but as zoe and her friends find out things are not always what they seem um in the book in the beginning um it's zoe's birthday christmas oh um and stuff so like okay let me just say this stuff um in the book um she accidentally cheats on Lor on Eric with um, Lauren Blake, one of the professors, the acting professor guy, um, and her imprint with Heath. Uh, she was able to break the imprint. Aphrodite. After Stevie Way Stevie Ray was gone, um, Aphrodite became. Uh, the replacement. She had an affinity for Earth. Apparently. Um, like, after the whole full moon ritual thing with the dark daughters, um, and stuff. Daughters of Darkness. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, her and Lauren, I'm going into the middle of the book where all the drama is right now. Um, her and Lauren, like, do it. <laughs> they have sex. Um, after the full moon ritual. Um, and Eric Knight becomes a full vampire, too. But before that, hold on, before that, um, I keep skipping parts that I forget. Hold on. Before that, um, Aphrodite and Zoe sort of become friends. And, um, Stevie Ray is now was staying well the undead dead Stevie Ray was staying at Aphrodite's place. Oh, uh, and they found Professor Nolan, the drama teacher, dead. Like literally dead. Her um body was nailed like a cross thing and her she was how do you say that word to 
decapitated or whatever, um, her head, like, all chopped off and everything, and there was, like, a quote from the Bible with her. The same thing happened to, hold on, before I get to that far, um, after, um, Zoe, going back to Zoe and, um, Lauren, Eric became a full vampire, She's, he is no longer fledgling, good for that, yay, good for him, but he found out that, um, Zoe and Lauren were together, together, they had sex, cause like, he walked in on them after they finished, and, um, Zoe told, um, Lauren everything, and I mean everything about ne Nefret and all that shiz, um, and she broke the imprint with Heath by having sex with Lauren and imprinted with him. Yeah, that- we did not see that coming. I- I honestly did not see that coming either. Um, but it seemed that, um, Lauren was actually in love with Nefret and Nefret was in love with him. And I did not see this coming either. He was just using her. Using Zoe. I thought he actually loved her. I seriously did. Um, and then, um, Lauren got killed. After Stevie Ray was able- became, like, a, f a full vampire thing again. Um, sh um, Zoe, um, did this whole ritual thing, um, for, um, Stevie Ray, and- Aphrodite lost her, um, mark, so she's, like, human again. Like, whoa. You can't become- you can't become unmarked after you were marked. That's what I thought, too. But apparently, you can. <laughs> um, and then Stevie Ray is now, like, a full vampire, because her mark is, like, filled in or something. And t Zoe's friends don't trust her anymore, because- she was keeping the secret about Stevie Ray, her and Lauren, because Eric told them about her and Lauren. So, yeah. And now, um... Lauren's dead. Yeah, Lauren's dead. Um... And, like, Eric saw the whole confrontation where, um, Nefret and, um, Zoe were talking and stuff, and he didn't know that Nefert was actually truly evil, but, like, he's shocked. <sighs> like, now, like, the vampires and humans are, like, gonna be at war or something, cause, like, they're, they killed the professors, like, how, how do you expect us not to be pissed off at you for that? Seriously. And, um, Eric still doesn't forgive Zoe, even now that he knows why she did it, like, why she was keeping secrets about Nefret, but he still doesn't forgive her, which is sad, to be honest, and, um, yeah, that's all the action, like, at the end, it's about, she, um, Zoe's talking to Nala her cat that chose her. So, that's basically all. She broke her imprint with Heath. Imprinted with Lauren, but that one broke. Broke up with Eric in a very cruel way, which she didn't want to. So really, she was very sluttish in this book. She was becoming like a slut. Ugh. Um... Eric now knows the truth about Nefret. Uh, what was else I gonna say? Oh, uh, in this book, there's all, like all this betrayal and stuff. Uh, and now, like Zoe is chosen, like seriously chosen, um, by Nyx for this whole um because of the war. Nyx doesn't want the war between the humans and vampires, but the humans are the ones that stepped out of line, so now Nefret, being this stupid, um, stupid bitch she is, 
evil little bitch she is, she's gonna start a war with the humans. She shouldn't even be the high priestess anymore, cause, well, Nyx doesn't like her, cause she's evil. <laughs> um, and now, um, Zoe just has to prepare for what is to come, cause there's a lot more that's gonna happen in the next book, I hope. Anyway, that's, I rate this book another 9, cause I really like the House of Night series. So, basically, they're going to be not, um, probably all of them are going to be nines, considering how much action and drama there is, and, like, how good it is and stuff. So, um, uh, please comment, favorite, and like this video. And, like, all my other book reviews, I will be, I will continue reading the House of Night series. I love them so far. I really recommend this. Um, and there's a website, houseofnightseries.com. So I hope you enjoyed this little video I made. So, like, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!